It is that time of the night again. The time when cursed light has long past danced away, beckoning the abominable horrors that lurk in the shadows to rise. The time when wise men retreat to their refuge. I was not one of them. 273 years ago, I was an unripe, arrogant drunk, gambling and bedding women of questionable morals. Unbeknownst to me, however, these hollow nights would not remain so. I was half conscious, yet I could hear his voice inside me. With mentoring tone, he urged me to forget the life I once knew and described the unlife that was to become my existence thenceforth. He told me I was now one of the accursed. Suddenly, I felt my body violated as I unwillingly accepted an apparition from the other side, a spirit seeking fervently for a suitable host that was to become my companion eternal. Thus, my metamorphosis was complete. I am now of this world for 300 years. In my time as an accursed, I have seen a world stretching beneath that of men. A world concealed by the veil, the curtain that blinds mortals to our existence. The Society of Horrors, we call it. It is said amongst our kind that we descend from the fallen god Arius, the once proud emperor of men. Arius' solitude drove him to father ten scions, ten paragons of virtue he deemed worthy of his divine gift. Thus, the primordials were created, and for six hundred years they ruled the earth under the commands of the progenitor. But the power these mortals have been given twisted their minds and hollowed their souls. Betrayal was inevitable. Arius disappeared and was never seen again. Fearing potential collusions, the Nine Heirs, in haste, divided their father's empire, and each became a ruler of his own domain. But the Primordials were now shadows of their former selves, monsters of envy and lust. They wanted it all. And so the Cold War began. The Vampire Monarchs delivered a new generation of accursed, each bearing the blood traits of their makers. With time, their numbers grew, and as they did, their human subjects were less and less regarded as anything but cattle. The people of the Airden suffered poverty and death. Whilst this strife dragged on, however, a mysterious figure emerged and led humanity to revolt against their vampire oppressors. Those accursed that survived the fire were met by the sun's cruel embrace. Only the most powerful escaped. The accursed came to ascertain that their war could not be fought before the eyes of mortals. And so they slowly faded their existence until they were all but forgotten. Obscured by the veil, the Primordials once again planted their sanguine seed. They formed secret orders in which the newly delivered scions were initiated to fight for the cause of their progenitor. Should a time come when a victor will rise from this age-old struggle, then our kind will tear through the veil and history will be written in blood. 
For once more, the reign of the accursed will have begun. There are horrors far more perverse than the accursed. Enemies of the Erden, and all that lives 